Hi everyone, Sandy. So today we are going to talk about how to stick to Slimming World. Uh, one of the questions I get asked probably the most is how I deal with the bad days, how I stay motivated, how I stay driven to get to my goal. Um, and it's it's really pretty simple. I've been uh, I spend a lot of time on social media, and I've been seeing a lot of people recently are, are struggling with Slimming World. I've talked about this before when I did Slimming World struggles, and we answer specific questions, but. I wanted to really talk about how you can uh, stay focused and stick to Slimming World and make it work. Now, I will say before I start this video, as you know, if you watch my videos, I am brutally honest. So I'm going to say things in this video that you're probably not going to want to hear, but they're the truth. And the reason I can say these things is not that I'm an expert. It's because I've been through it. I've done it all. You don't get to 38 stone without doing all the things that I'm going to talk to you about. So I'm going to be brutally honest. So it's probably going to, you know, some of you may write negative comments and that may just be because you haven't wanted to hear the brutally honest truth. But if you really, really want to succeed, if you really want this and you really want to achieve your goals, then I think honesty is the best policy. So if you don't want to hear the, the brutally honest you know, kind of uh, way to stick to Slimming World, then I would stop watching now. But if you really want to achieve your goals, if you want it more than anything else, then watch this video all the way to the end. Don't skip. Watch the entire video, and I will do my best to help you stay on track, stay focused, get through the tough times, and get to your goals. So with that said, let's get started. I spend a lot of time on social media and I've seen a lot of people saying how oh, they're struggling, how Slimming World's not working for them uh, and they're thinking of doing something else and I've seen people that say they're going to do uh, calorie counting because they can eat what they want, you can eat what you want on Slimming World but anything that's not free or sin free you just need to attach a sin value to it. Uh, I've seen people saying that they, they want to do you know clean eating or, or, or work on their portion control you can do that with Slimming World you know Slimming World encourages you to look at portion control uh, and I myself have worked on my portion control since coming back to Slimming World so all these things that people say they may be going to go and do you can do with Slimming World so uh, like I said before you don't get to my weight you don't get to 38 stone without making excuses and and i've made you know whatever excuses you've made i've made them and probably more i was the king of excuses i was the king of coming up with reasons as to why i couldn't do it you know i'm going out uh there's a party oh you know I've, I've had a bad day you know oh this this has happened that's happened works nuts i'm really busy i've got a stressful life i did all of that stuff all of it and more I would sit at night trying to think of excuses that I could use as to why I wasn't being successful. And I didn't just do that with Slimming World. I did that with every single plan that I tried. And every single time, the same thing happened. I got to the point where I blamed the plan. And that's the key. I got to the point where every single time I, I blamed the plan. But I never blame myself. I never said to myself, you know, Andy, are you really doing this properly? Are you really doing the things that you're supposed to be doing? Are you really following this plan to the letter? You may say you are. You may even think you are. But are you really? You know, how much do you want this? What's more important to you? You know, is it is it ice cream? Is it fizzy drinks? Is it chocolate? Is it cakes? Is it pastries? Is that more important to you? Or is life more important to you? And guess what? I chose ice cream and pastries and cakes and crisps and chocolate. How much importance did I put on my life? I'll tell you how much. None. How could I? For 46 years, I've mistreated my body. I've eaten rubbish. I've eaten so much food. I've mistreated my body. I've had a pulmonary embolism that by right should have killed me. 
I suffer with sleep apnea that's probably weight related. I've got osteoarthritis in my right knee, weight related. I suffer with uh, gout, weight related. I suffer with plantar facilitas, which is like policeman's heel, weight related. Every, all these things that are wrong with me. You know, I, I'm really lucky, thank, thankfully, touch wood, that I've never, you know, I've, I've always been borderline diabetic, but I've never, I've never got diabetes. And there's, you know, I've, I've never had, uh, you know, other things wrong with me apart from what I've got wrong with me now. But I made all these excuses and never, ever thought for one second that it could be me. So, so many people, they say, Slimming World doesn't work. Slimming World doesn't work for me. But you have to be brutally honest with yourself and say to yourself, are you doing it properly? Are you doing it 100%? Are you giving it everything you've got? Do you really want it? I'm at the point now where this is my final weight loss journey because I will not stop until I win. There's no stopping. There's no quitting. There's no turning back. There's no more excuses. There's no making up reasons why I can't do it. I'm done with that. I've done it for too many years. 25 years I've battled with my weight. You've got to say to yourself, when is enough enough? When is that? You need to find that point for you. When is enough enough? When do you have to say to yourself, I can't live my life like this anymore. I will not live my life like this anymore. I deserve better than this. But the only person that can make the changes is you. I can't do it for you. I can make all the motivational videos. You can watch tons of other motivational videos apart from me. You could watch them all day long. You could go and sit in your group. You can go on Instagram. You can go and watch all the YouTube videos you want. But none of it's going to make a difference until you start making the change. People have said to me the reason that it, you know, the reason that it doesn't work for them is low self-esteem or they've got no willpower. No. I've made all those excuses for myself. I've I've come up with every single reason why it can't work for me. And and I said this uh, the other day uh, in an Insta live. There's one reason and one reason only that Slimming World will not work for you and there's only one reason. And 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 it's not just Slimming World, it's the, it's the one reason that uh, any plan will not work for you. And the one reason is because you have stopped believing in yourself. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. You have got to the point where you've stopped believing in yourself. You, you're listening to that inner voice. You're listening to that voice. That voice that lives in what it knows. You know, your inner voice works from the past. It works from the past. Earl Nightingale uh, wrote a book called The Strangest Secret. And uh, he, uh, he makes an analogy of the, of the human mind and, and like a field. And he said that if you've got a field... Uh, and, and the farmer plants half of the field corn and half of the field uh, in nightshade, deadly poison. The field doesn't care. The field doesn't know. You know, it, like if you've got, you know, if you went out in your back garden tomorrow and you planted carrots and poison ivy, the ground doesn't care. The ground is going to return what you plant, right? So if you plant half carrots, half poison ivy, you're going to get half a garden of really nice carrots and half a garden of poison ivy. Your mind is the same. Your mind can't tell the difference. Your mind returns what you give it. So if you just keep talking about yourself in, in a negative way, you know, I can't do this. I won't do this. I'm never going to do this. My life is not meant to be this way. I'm never going to change. I'm going to be fat for the rest of my life. Do you not think this guy has told himself that time and time again? I spent my whole life telling myself I can't. I've told my, you know, myself my whole life that I'm never going to do it. I'm going to be fat all my life. I don't deserve to be better than this. Nothing's ever going to go right for me. This is how my life's going to be. I will never be more than this. What a horrible thing to tell yourself. If you look on my Instagram, uh, I posted a picture of, uh, of a montage that I made that I drew uh, when I was really suffering my depression. And I wrote the word me. And around the word me, I wrote all the words that I was thinking about myself. And it was hard. You know, I, I, remember, I remember when I was doing it, I was crying when I was doing it. Um, but it's how I felt. And I wrote awful words, you know, like depression, loser, empty uh it was alone you know there was just horrible words but that's how i felt and uh 
And people, when they looked at it on Instagram, they said, that can't be the same guy. You can't have wrote that. And I said, well, go back. Look on my Facebook page. It's there from a year or so ago. It's not something I did just to make a video or just to put on Instagram. I didn't just think, well, I'll make this and, and tell a story. It's something I actually did. And it was there for all to see. But I'm going to rewrite one soon. And the one I write now will be completely different. The one I will write now will be inspired, motivated, happy. You know, uh, all the all the you know a brand new set of words. You know, I'm I'm revitalized. Now I'm ready. I'm I'm ready to do this. And the reason, the reason that made the change, and this is what pushes me through. This is what gets me through the tough days. This is what makes it work for me. Because we're going to have tough days. Things are going to go wrong. And unfortunately, that's just life. Things are going to happen to us. Things are going to happen. You know, we, there's going to be, you know, there's going to be divorces. People are going to die. You're going to get ill. Your kids are going to get ill. You're going to have problems at work. You're going to have financial problems. There's going to be all kinds of things that will just come and hit you. And everybody goes through the same. Life happens to everybody. So there's people that succeed on Slimming World and keep the weight off. But life happens to them. Things happen to them. But why? how come they do it and others don't? It's because you just have to learn to, to deal with life. You know, life is, is always going to surprise you. Life is going to throw something at you when you least expect it. So I just got to the point where I decided enough was enough. I decided that I deserve better for myself and, and I wanted better for myself. And that I could do these things. I could lose weight. I could keep it off. And, and the more weight I begin to lose the more I want it, the more that, that passion is coming, the more driven I get. But I now have got that self-belief. I now believe that I can do it. So that voice that was working from my past, that was telling me I couldn't, that was telling me I was never going to be enough, that voice is getting quieter and quieter and quieter to the point where I can barely hear it. All you need to do, all you need to do is stop blaming the plan it doesn't matter what you're doing it doesn't have to be slimming well whatever plan you're doing if it's not working stop blaming the plan take some responsibility look at yourself and say to yourself am i really doing this or am i playing at it am i half doing it am i half committed you know you can't be half committed if you really want this if you want to make the changes in your life you have to be fully committed you have to want this as much as you want to open your mouth and breathe breathing's important right we need to breathe and we need to do this. If you want to do it, you have to want it as much as you want to breathe. And I'm telling you, I want it. As much as that air that I suck in and out, I want it. I want this more than I've ever wanted it in my life. And people can see it. People, even friends, you know, they say, I can see it in your eyes. You know, I can see by the way you are, the way you talk. I can see that you want this. And I do. I've never been in this position before where I've wanted something so much above anything else. You know, there is nothing going to get in my way. And that's how you have to become. You have to become, it has to become like an obsession. You have to be obsessed with losing weight. You have to want it more than anything. You have to be driven. You have to be motivated. You have to be. But you have to look at yourself. The change starts from within. You have to look inside. You have to start taking responsibility and know that you may not be doing it properly. You may think you're doing it properly, but you may not be. You have to start making those tough choices. And this is what I said when people, these are the things that people don't want to hear. You have to start saying to yourself, is this wine, this chocolate, this ice cream, these takeaways, the crisps, whatever it is that's getting in your way, is that more important? Because they're not going to get you to your goal. They're not going to get you where you want to be. They're not going to get you into that dress size or that waist that you want to be. They're not going to get you into you know that that plane seat without an extension belt. They're not going to get you you know only sitting on one you know train seat instead of taking up two like I do. That stuff's not going to get you there. So you have to make the tough choices. What is more important? And they are. Trust me, they're tough choices. And they're choices that I used to make. And I used to give in to chocolate or takeaway or pizza or whatever it was I wanted. I made the choice to do that. 
And look where that got me. Look where those choices got me. I, I started to become the person that I said I would never be. When I watched those programs when they had 40, 45 stone people that they were taking out of windows, putting on the back of trucks, and I was saying, that will never be me. But I was getting closer and closer to that person being me. And that's when I knew I had to stop. That's when I knew. I, I was like, that, that pretty soon is going to be me. And I was never going to let that happen. And you have to decide. You know, you have to really make the hard choices, make the decision that if you really want this, take responsibility. Take responsibility for yourself. Take responsibility for the choices that you make. Stop blaming the plan. Stop blaming, you know, that it, you're, you're stressed. Stop blaming that work's hard, relationships are hard. Life's going to be hard. It's always going to be hard. That's never going to change. And if you sit around waiting for life to change and the circumstances to be right, you'll waste a whole bunch of time. I've spent so much of my life, you know, from my past. My past has held me back for too long. I've wasted a good 20 plus years. I wish I would have found this fire 20 years ago. Because if I would have found this fire 20 years ago, who knows what I could have done with my life by now. What could I have done? What could I have achieved? I sit and ask myself all the time, if I would have found this passion 20 years ago, where would I be now? What would I be doing? How would I be feeling? What different person would I be if I would have found this drive and this motivation 20 years ago? But that's something I can never answer. I, I don't know. I can't speculate on that. All I, all I know going forward is I know what I can achieve. I know what I can do. I know what it is that I want to get done. There's so much I want to get done. I want to go back to public speaking. I want to get into the school system and talk to kids about bullying and weight loss and depression and anxiety. I want to, you know, if I could bring down, you know, and, and, and in any way play a part in bringing down the rates for, for teenage suicide and, and depression in kids, I'm all about that. I wanna, I wanna help. I wanna try and do my part. I wanna, you know, motivate and inspire people to look at the bigger picture, to not just look at it being weight, to look at there are other things. There's depression, there's anxiety, there's mental illness, there's all kinds of things. But all these things are growing in kids. You know, the statistics are frightening. You know, there's the obese kids, kids suffering with depression, anxiety, the suicide rate in kids. It is absolutely frightening. And it's not just in the UK. This is worldwide. It is frightening. And before my time's up on this planet, I want to do something about that. So my advice, if you really want to do this, if you really want to succeed, if you really want to stick to it, is you've got to want it. You've got to take responsibility. You've got to want it. You've got to get back that self-belief. You've got to plan. You know things are coming. Birthdays are the same every year. Anniversaries are the same every year. Christmas is the same every year. If there's something that you can't plan for, then I always say, be the very, very best that you can be when you're in control and do your very best when you're not. And that's all that you can do. I'm not saying that you have to be perfect. I'm not perfect. I still am gonna make mistakes. I'm still gonna have bad days. I'm still gonna question myself, but I'm not questioning myself to the point anymore where I want to give up. I'm always going to say to myself, can I do this? You know, I, and I still have that constant kind of chatter with myself because even though I'm growing in confidence, even though my desires, you know, uh, increasing, even though my motivation's increasing, that little voice is sometimes still there that says to me, you know, Andy, can you do this? You know, you've, you've not done it in the past. Do, do you really believe you can do this? And there's still that little chatter, chatter in my ear. And sometimes I listen. And occasionally I will probably give in. And, you know, and, I, and I'll think and I'll give in to whatever it is that I want to, you know, give in to at the time, whether it's a bar of chocolate or something. But most of the time now, I've learned to break the cycle of emotional binging, which I'm going to talk about in another video. But the biggest thing is the belief in myself. I now believe without question that I can do this. I will not question myself. And, and I'm working to the point where 100% of the time I will win. I'm not quite there yet. When that little voice starts, I want to get to the point where every time I prevail. 
I make the best decision for me, I make the right decision, and I don't give in, and I don't you know, derail myself from my goal. So sticking to Slimming World is really easy, really easy. All you have to do is believe in yourself. We know it can be done. Get that self-belief back. Tell yourself positive things. And you know, like I said, you know, your mind works from what you feed it. It returns what you feed it. If you just keep feeding it negativity, it's going to return negativity. If you start to talk about yourself in a more positive light, I am someone. My life means something. I can. I will. It's possible. I can you know, achieve my goals. I can achieve my dreams. I can get to target. I can. I can. I can. Just keep saying those words. I can. Don't say maybe. You know, maybe is a negative word. You know, maybe is a negative connotation. You know, well, maybe. You know, so that's like your friend saying, "Well, maybe I'll come on Friday." And you know, most people say if you if someone says maybe, that pretty much means no, right? So if someone says, "Oh, maybe I'll come out on Friday," you're like, "All right, see you Monday at work." They're not coming. Maybe it's just like, well, you know, that's already just an excuse for well, something happened and I couldn't come negative just keep saying i can i can i can i will we know it's possible believe it's possible for you that is it there's no magic to this the magic comes from you it's not the slimming world plan it's you you make the magic happen you just have to believe in yourself you have to believe 100 percent unequivocally that you can do this that's it and then the more you start to believe in yourself, the easier it will become. The more you do, you will want to do more. The more, the more, the more. And it will just become so easy and you will become so driven, so motivated that you will get to your goals. And when you actually start to push yourself, when you believe that you can do anything, you know, uh, like I walk six miles for a 32 stone guy, six miles. That's outrageous. And, you know, the following day it hurt like hell. But I did it and I wouldn't give in because I wanted to push myself. I wanted to prove that I could do it. And you know what? I did it. We are phenomenal. Human beings are phenomenal. We can do more than we can ever imagine. But first of all, you have to believe. You have to believe that you can do it and you have to push yourself to do more. If you really push yourself, if you stop playing, if you set yourself a target saying, right, for the next month, I'm not going to drink. I'm not going to give in. I'm going to use my sins. I'm going to use my sins on the things that I want. I'm going to plan my sins. I'm going to plan when I'm going out. I'm going to be the best that I can be when I go out. I'm going to share with my friends what I'm doing so my friends support me. I'm going to tell them that my weight loss is more important to me than a bottle of wine. And if they're my friends, they're going to support me. If you do that for one month I would pretty much say you're going to see better results and I would challenge you to try it. I would challenge you to try it on this video and in one month I'll do another video to follow up this one and in the comments the people that take up the challenge you can tell me how much different your month has been okay so look after so this this in fact let's do this let's make a challenge okay I'll do it as well we'll all do it so if you want to take up the challenge we'll all do it together okay so from this video being posted today, four weeks, okay? So look in your Slimming World books or, or your records for your weight loss. Look over the past four weeks and look at your results. Whatever it is, write it down, whether it's losses, gains, maintains, whatever. Write it down, your last four weeks. Then take up the challenge with me to be the very best Slimming World you can be, to believe in yourself, to make the tough decisions, to not drink the wine, to not give in to the chocolate, the ice cream, whatever it is that, that calls you sometimes. Don't give in to that. And then in one month, I will make a follow-up video. And in there, we will all drop some comments again. And in fact, in this comments, in the comments for this video, write down your four weeks, okay, so we can see. And so, so drop some comments if you're going to take up the challenge and write down your last four weeks uh, weight results. And then I'll do a video again in one month's time and we will rewrite the weight loss for four weeks from this video and we'll see if we've made some changes. Okay, so if you're up for the challenge, drop a comment. So listen, that's it. That's the key to sticking on Slimming World. And I know that some people aren't going to want to hear it. Some people aren't going to accept it. I'm not expecting everybody to agree with me 
I'm just telling you from what I know. I'm just telling you from me, the guy that made all the excuses, the guy that's always wanted to quit, the guy that has quit in the past, the guy that has given up, the guy that never thought I was going to do it, the guy that you know just kept saying to myself, my life is just me being fat forever. And look at me now. Who would have ever thought that I'd be motivating and inspiring people? Who would ever thought that I'd want to do that now for a living? Who'd ever thought that I'd want to you know, plan for my future, maybe as a Slimming World consultant, to help more people achieve their dreams? Who would have thought that I would have gone out and walked six miles? I wouldn't have believed that for myself. But I'm doing it, and I'm going to do more. Because the more I do the more I'm going to show to you that it's possible. Because if I can do it at my weight, if you're not as big as me, you can do it. If you are as big as me, you can do it. If you're bigger than me, you can do it. I'm doing it. And I'm sharing it with you. I'm showing you it can be done. But you've got to believe. It's got to be here. Here. Right here. If you believe it, you can do it. We are amazing human beings and we can do anything we put our mind to, but you have to believe it. Take up the challenge and let's talk again in a month and see how we do. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. I hope that you take something from this and you really, really think about what it is that you want and how you can get there. And I hope you really just give Slimming World your all and, and realize that sometimes we have to take a look at ourselves, which is a hard thing to do. And trust me, I've been there and I went through it. And it's tough telling yourself sometimes that you're not really doing the best by yourself and you're, you're letting yourself down. It's a tough conversation to have for yourself. But once you've done it and once you get focused, your life will change. I promise. My life is getting better every single day. And I want that for each and every one of you. Be nice to each other, people. Life is always worth living. And until I speak to you again, see ya.